Cube Sensors just launched here at the Launch Festival in, yeah. in, in San Francisco, and, and you, it's hardware, which is really surprising. Um, is. You don't see that much of hardware, you know, launching this more than just let's say, you know, four or five years ago. But uh, it measures ambient sound, air quality, that sort That's of thing. That's right. Well, sensors are like cute little devices packed with sensors that measure everything that can be measured about indoors. And they stream that to, to the cloud. So we spend 90% of our lives indoors, and we have no clue about it. This is the first time that you have a one simple device that you put one in each room of your office or home, and, and you get an overview of what's going on in your environment. And why is that important? Because environment significantly influences your performance, well-being, and health. I always wonder why when I'm sitting there in a, in a conference room and, and suddenly I'm like, you know, nodding off. Yeah. And, and sometimes the speaker is actually really good. Yeah, yeah. Well, there is proof that, well, sometimes. Studies <laughs> prove, no, studies prove that, that actually if you have like a combination of poor air, uh, changes in temperature, even drop of barometric pressure, uh, that will give you either headache or makes you sleepy. So, one thing that cubes are going to do. They're actually going to send you an alert about it, and you just need a cup of coffee before you would actually feel all the effect of sleepiness and all that. So, um, what do you do about it? I mean, if, if the air quality is bad? Yeah. Well, you aerate. If you can, you aerate. For, for example, uh, at, uh, at home, we are playing with these things now for roughly six months. We've totally changed the way we aerate our bedrooms and, and homes because. Mm -hmm. Before that, you just open the window and, and close it down and say, oh, it's good air outside and better inside. It's actually not true. You, you, you get into a totally different pattern what you do, and actually you feel that, that you sleep better, you feel better, and your life is improved. But what is really the call to action to actually buy one of these? Well, you... We all know we want it, you know, but it's sure. not something that... It, it's not a necessity, let's no, say. No, well, it's not a necessity, but uh, if you look like in the offices uh, or companies, they spend a lot of money on perks uh, and ergonomics in order to improve productivity. Mm -hmm. By just looking at the environment, you can affect productivity by 5 to 10%. That's a huge incentive. So um, what went into the design of this? What do you mean? What? The design of the cube. So why a little cube? Um, why not something that's flat? Maybe something yeah. that'll um, stick on the wall. Actually, we were very, very careful about the design because we want to have a beautiful device that you can put everywhere in the room. You can put it on your conference room, you, uh, table, you can put it on your shelf, whatever. There are wouldn't no cables. Wouldn't you think that you would want, it? Think you would no want it next to your... Well, wouldn't you think you'd want to mount it maybe next to your, um, you know, temperature gauge? Well. You can always put it there, but we wanted to avoid any screws drilling in the wall or whatever. We just wanted to have, you have it, you can take it with you if you want. And someone and can pick there. it up and walk out of the room with it? Yeah, but it would be... It's connected you, to your device. It would be useless to them and they would tell you that, well, I'm not in this room anymore. So this is something they can measure on, on an app? Yeah. They get all the yeah. data that's... Yeah, that's right. It, that's right. What's the technology that's sending it there? Um, it's called a Zigbee protocol, which is an industrial-grade wireless protocol. So, so it's way more, more powerful and longer in range than, uh, than a classical wireless. Uh, and it's connected through cloud to, to your iPhone or Android device. Okay. Yeah. And you're here, you're looking for funding. You that's already right. have a few people knocking on your doors, but that's you're looking right. for better offers, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, we, we are fundraising right now. Uh, hopefully to close the round really soon go into the production with this one and change people's lives. Why don't you use Kickstarter? There are a lot of hardware companies, you know, that are, that are using that. They are. Uh, first of all, Kickstarter will take time, that's number one. Number two, Kickstarter uh, is really sensitive about something that they call uh, home improvement. Like, if you remember the example of Lockitron. Um, so we opted to go into, like, mode where where we offer it on our own website so it's kubesensors.com uh, and fundraising and so your your business is really you're lo not looking as much to sell those to consumers for the home as much as you are to businesses that's correct that's correct uh, the, the main reason is that we can show how it impacts productivity but 
particularly in the companies where they search for talent, that they're working with engineers and all that, you want to have their environment perfect because mm. every percent of productivity will show on your balance sheet. So you and you can achieve that with our queues. So you can see that, um, you know, so you can probably see it, you know, partnering with like an Office Depot or Staples or one of those and That's putting right. it in their uh, right. ergonomics. Right. And so what, what do you think the price point is going to be on these? Well, there are the, the reservation uh, is out r right now. We have the set of two cubes plus base station for 250 and set of four cubes plus base station for 350. And when are they actually going to be available this summer? In early summer, yeah. So a couple of months time that they come off the production line and, and we ship it to, to our first customers.